Now, there are calls this morning for smacking to be outlawed in Australia. QC Felicity Jerry says 49 countries have already banned the practice, but it is not acceptable for the UK, the USA and Australia to remain missing from the list. Yeah, it's a topic that continues to divide the country. So to tell us more is parenting expert Dr Justin Coulson. Uh, Justin, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, is Australia behind the times when it comes to physically punishing children? I can't believe we're still having this conversation. Right. It should have been settled a long long time ago. The evidence is absolutely clear. Smacking our children does not do any good. It only causes harm. A lot of um, parents though argue that sometimes if you will need to discipline your child or if they're going to hurt themselves like run out in front of the road that a little smack doesn't hurt. No? Uh, no. The research tells us quite clearly that a little smack does hurt. That's why children cry. Uh, the neurological changes that happen as a result of smacking, the modelling. There are so many impacts that smacking has on our children's development in negative ways. It's, it's crazy. As for, you know, if your child's going to run out on the road, why would you hit them? Why wouldn't you pick them up and walk them away from the road? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I spoke to uh, some, some people on the radio this morning and they said, well, what if your toddler's having a meltdown in the shops? I said, well, where do we get this crazy idea that by hitting our children, mm. they're going to stop crying? I mean, it, it just doesn't work like that. Hitting our children does for our relationship with our children what hitting our spouse does for our relationship with them. It's mm. just not on. It is always a fiery debate, divisive, mm. that's for sure. We'd like to hear from you, our viewers today. Do you think smacking should be made illegal? Let us know on our Facebook page.